Fighting genre fans are in for a treat with Street Fighter 4. Keeping with tradition, this installation of Street Fighter is strictly 2D, using 3D graphics only as an effect, although this is the best animated and looking fighter game to date on any console. You'll be happy to know that the original fighters have returned along with five new welcomed additions, and a couple of them are really quite strange, you'll get a, a good laugh out of them. The sound is typical of fighting games, except for the annoying J-pop title song, which unfortunately worms its way into every different menu and waiting time, loading screen, so for that you'll have to deal with. Otherwise, you know, you're going to expect the same shout-outs when the special moves are done and the background music is nothing exceptional, you know, like it is in every other fighting game, so nothing really to brag about there. Returning veteran fighters of Street Fighter will also be happy to know that the controls have gone back to Street Fighter roots, only adding focus attacks, which you don't even pad, but you know, that can be easily changed by using the analog pad if you are, you know, used to using analog or if you so wish to go out and buy one of the third party arcade sticks. All in all, there's plenty to keep you entertained for countless hours, both with the arcade mode and the online modes. You will also find training modes and different skill challenge type modes. Street Fighter 4 is definitely worth your 360. Oh! Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2 is a great budget title that can be picked up for under $20. Much like Ghost Recon is known for intense gun battles, GRA 2 is no different. For the single player campaign, you return to Mexico and take out the rebels in a way that only Tom Clancy's games can. My only problem is that the campaign, it's, it's a bit too short. The multiplayer on the other hand will keep you entertained for hours. There's still a thriving online community, so finding friends to play with won't be too difficult. There's also plenty of downloadable content, both free and a few that are paid as well, to add on to your experience. You will have map packs, you will have uh, guns to add on to your single player experience, you know, to play different a second time around, if you will. If you're a fan of tactical shooters, this is definitely worth your 360 points. <laughs>